Hey everyone, Steve here. Thanks for watching our video today. I have a question for you. Do you hate backing up? I mean, is that like the worst thing ever with a computer? You have to find all your files, you have to dig through all your folders, you finally find all this stuff, and then you copy it over, or you try to copy it over to a hard drive, you run into problems, it's a pain in the butt. This is why people don't back up, but the problem is 76% of us don't have an adequate backup, or any backup at all. And I mean, that, that, that's crazy. In fact, 43% of us are going to lose data this year. Within the next 12 months, nearly half of us are going to lose some important data off of our computer, either due to a hard drive crash, a malware infection, or some kind of system malfunction. I mean, think about that. What if that's your photos? What if you have all these photos on your computer that, you that you've been taking for years, you don't have any backup of them, and they're all gone? Your whole family history for the last five years just wiped out. Little Timmy's first steps, forget it. That great vacation you went on, gone. Is that what you want? I mean, and think about, what about music? Everyone keeps music, 70 some percent of us keep music on our computers. You buy that stuff and they don't let you have a refund if you, uh, or they don't let you re-download that if you lose it. It's just gone if it's wiped out of your computer. That's crazy. I mean, how much money do you have invested? Even if you've just copied CDs on there, how much time do you have invested? Speaking of that, what about all the documents and stuff that you've created, the things you've written up and the spreadsheets you've done? How much time, how many hours do you have invest in that? What happened if right now, as you're watching this video, your whole computer crashed and everything was gone? Right now, do you have a backup? Can you get right back to where you were? I don't, most people don't. 76% of you are going to answer that no. So we came up with this really great software. It's super easy to use. We found this and it's going to make your whole backup life easy. I'm going to show you how it works right now. It's called Save My Files. You're going to love this. All right, well, the first thing we want to do is launch Save My File. So we're going to double click that. And it'll start up. And here's Welcome to Save My Files. It's going to ask me a question What would you like to do? I can either back up or restore. Well, for this example, we're going to back up. We're going to click Backup. And there's two options Easy Backup or Advanced Backup. Now, Easy Backup is just for photos and videos and music. So I'm not real interested in that. I want to back up you know, more than that. So I'm going to hit advanced backup, but don't let advanced throw you there. It's really, really easy. You're going to see that in a second. Now, what would you like to back up? I can either choose items to back up or go to my backups and rerun a backup that I did in the past. Right now, I'm going to show you how this works. So we're going to hit choose items to backup. And basically, it's a matter of putting some check boxes in here. That's all there is to it. You can have it back up all your music and movies, all your digital pictures and images, your my documents folder, your email and settings, your registry and window settings, and this little checkbox lets you back up other drives, folders, and files. You click that little box and a screen pops up that will allow you to go in and say, hey, you know, I need a specific folder backed up. So you can set it that way too. So no matter what it is you need to back up, this program can do it for you. Uh, for this little example, we're just going to back up the My Documents folder because on this particular computer it's pretty small. So I make my check mark, I just hit next. Nothing to it. It gives me an estimated size. I hit continue and it asks me where I want to save it. I can put on some CDs or DVDs, external drives, networks on a remote FTP location. I can upload it to a server. Um, I have a flash drive plugged in, so I'm going to select an external hard drive, zip flash or floppy. So I just click that and hit next. This is just, there's nothing to this. Uh, I have to give it a backup name. So I will put uh, demo dash backup. And location is already selected for me because I told it to back up to uh, an external drive. It found, that, uh, it found the drive I had plugged in. Now I have a couple options here. I can view the backup if I want to just see the files. I just click that and look at all the files that I'm backing up. That's great. I go back and I can select just backup now and let it do its thing. It's going to show you the full process right along the bottom there. Nothing to it. And uh, backups created successfully. Nothing to it. I hit OK and that's it. Return to welcome screen and I close it back out. And it'll ask me if I'm sure I want to, I'm sure I do. Now, let's say it's a couple days later and I say, oh, you know what, I need to run that backup again. So I run my software again here, my Save My Files software. And this time we go to backup, just like we did before. Advanced backup, just like we did before. But this time we just go to My Backups and I select Demo Backup from this little screen right here and hit Backup Now. It's backing up all the same files and folders that we had before, but this time I didn't have to go through and select them because it remembered exactly what it was. You hit OK and uh, hit Exit. I'm all done. That's all there is to backing up. That's how easy backing up your files can be. 
See, I told you that was easy. There is absolutely nothing to it. With software as easy to use as that, there's no excuse for not having a good backup. In fact, it's crazy not to have a good backup. Now here's the thing. There's some other really exciting features I want to tell you about real quick. First of all, this saves in a zip file format. That is huge, absolutely huge, because it does a couple things. First, it compresses the files, makes them nice and small. Secondly, you can open a zip file format on any computer. So if your computer crashes, and let's say, oh my gosh, I can't find the Save My Files CD right now, but I need my files really bad, any Windows computer can open them up. You can even password protect these zip files, and if you don't have the Save My Files disk, Windows will say, hey, what's the password? And you can still get access to your files. That's huge. A lot of other backup software does not do that. They make it, they save this stuff in their own file format, and it just, you know, it's proprietary. If you don't have the software, you can't get at the files. With this one, it's not a problem. The other really exciting thing this does is incremental backups. Once you do a full backup, you can set the program and say, hey, I only want incremental backups from now on. This will save and backup only new and changed files. It's really great because if your initial backup is large and it takes maybe an hour to do the backup, your incremental backups are only backing up a couple of files. It'll take seconds. A huge time saver, just absolutely great. So anyhow, this software does all that and a lot more. You can read the ad, you can read the uh, product page at the store here and uh, take a look at all the great features this thing has. But truthfully, easy to use. It's $897. It's insane not to have something like this. As easy it is to use and as cheap as it is, can't go wrong. Limited quantities though, so make sure you get over to the site, grab yours today, and thanks for watching.